Well, it is Thursday morning. Beck and I originally had these couple days off because we were going to go to the state fair, but well, that didn't happen. So <laughs> we decided to keep the days off and come up north for a. We came up last night, got up here about eight o'clock, and the one thing I wanted to get done this week is I wanted to get that ground blind set up for Becca's grandpa for bow hunting. So my idea is that I'm going to put the ground blind right here. And uh, cut a couple of the, or gonna cut a couple of these trees out, so that way he's got room. And then we're gonna make some shooting lanes there. And then obviously we've got a shooting lane here, but then I want a couple behind him just in case if something comes up behind him. Well, now he's got a couple shooting lanes that way as well. So shouldn't take very long, but we'll see. Okay, so we got the ground blind up. Again, it's not a deer stand, it's just a ground blind. So you come in, you've got shooting angle there, you've got one right there, got one right there, I got one right there. I pine, you know, I ran out of the, the cloth, so I actually just got a bunch of pine boughs that I cut down, and now I've got a natural one right there. But as you can see, there's another couple shooting lanes all the way back over to there. And then if they do come from behind, yeah, you don't have the ground, you know, the, the, the blind, but he can turn around and go right there. So I think it'll work from what we've been seeing is we have two doe and a fawn that have been coming through. Um, really, there's no rhyme or reason for the time. But that's fine. I'm not as worried about that. But as you can see, it does kind of blend in. So, you know, we got it up here early enough where the deer can get used to seeing it. So we still have the corn out. But, you know, once again, two weeks prior to bull hunting, when we're actually coming up, then we've got to remove it. So we're probably going to come up that second weekend. But at least this way, the, the deer will be... It'll change their pattern and they'll still come through because even without that corn there, the deer come through just not with the regularity that I'd like, but should now. So bring Adam back here so that way you he can help me do a couple of the other branches and call it good. So Adam helped me out for a little bit and we started doing a, another trail. So we got it kind of all cleared out. This is the before, before we actually go through with the lawnmower and clean it out. But And the main reason why we did this is because this is where the neighbors launched their boat for when they go hunting. So I didn't tell them I was doing this. They didn't ask for this. I just wanted to see if I can get down here and kind of clean out a little area for them so that way it just makes it easier when they come down here. So, now I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the lawnmower completely down here but yeah because I mean some of this is actually underwater. <laughs> Water is up right now so but either way they can get to here and they should be able to launch somewhere down in here but you know, there's a little gesture at least. And then eventually, so this is the start of the new trail, we're going to go down that way and just blaze the trail. But as you can see down here, it's just same thing of everywhere else. It's just so thick. <laughs> but now we can actually say we're officially starting on the second part of the trail. All right. So we just cleaned out this area. So now you can definitely see the before and after. I actually might even take these trees down at some point. And the one on the right's already dead. The one on the left, once that one goes, well then it's not gonna have the support. So I don't know. I really don't wanna take down a nice large birch tree, but it might be on its way out anyway. So, but anyway, this actually went pretty quick. 
So, I mean, as you can definitely see, the difference on just what going through here with the lawnmower does compared to trying to do this by hand. Makes it so much quicker, so much easier. And I also kind of started on going through here. I've got some down trees that I've actually got to cut with a chainsaw, but this is going a lot quicker than what that original first area did. So, but I've got that down tree right there. So if I can actually come back here with the chainsaw and just kind of cut that and then cut it right there too, I can move that and then I can get down to where we I've already got a trail cut. And that was kind of the plan is we wanted a trail going right by the river so that way we can walk the riverbank but I'll probably do that in the spring but it's definitely coming along it's kind of nice to film a new trail <laughs> considering all the other videos have been the same darn trail but you can definitely see that this area is much more open and I've got a couple of small stumps that I want to take out. I think there's three of them, but not really bad. And then eventually we're going to go through here, but that whole area, and I can see right now that whole area that I wanted to go, that's underwater. So no. I'll putz with it later, but in the meantime, I'm happy with this work that I got done. Actually feels like we accomplished something this weekend. <laughs> well, what's nice is at the top of this trail, it also leads out to where that new blind that we put up is. So it's just giving the deer another path that they can go through if they want to. So but I'm happy with it. Keep on going. You do a little bit here, a little bit there. It all starts to add up. Well, we're done with the trail. So now it's playtime. Boys are just sitting back here, having some fun. We were just playing with bubbles a minute ago and then they lost interest. Now Adam found his magic stick. Logan, don't do that. It's almost dead. So I came back down yesterday and started on a new trail going that way. And then the other thing I did was we brought the chainsaw down and took care of the downed trees. So we now have a new trail that goes up to the previous one. So now we've got a trail that goes to the boat launching area for what, where the neighbors go. And then it connects right back up to here where this is where we planted the morel mushrooms. And as you can see, This one connects right to the original trail going back down here. So it just kind of gives us a little different walking area. And as Becca and I mentioned before, we want a trail that goes right on the river bank. So once those are done, and then when we're up here in the morning, you know, we can come walk our trail down by the river and have a nice cup of coffee. Just relaxing as usual. 
So it's Friday morning right now. Ooh, I have no idea what that is, but that was not there yesterday. Huh, interesting. But anyway, uh, we're gonna be heading out here in a little bit. Um, and then we'll be back next weekend for Labor Day weekend. And I don't think we're gonna do any work, but I think Kyle's probably gonna come up too, so. Just gonna putz around the rest of the day. Head out around two, be home by six, and well, we'll probably see our new neighbors. In the meantime, just gonna relax and watch the river for a little bit. <laughs> 